Hi, I'm Kevin Castaneda, and this is Cubs Mindset, where we talk everything finance, investing, mindset, and productivity. And today we're going to be talking about Daimler, which Daimler is essentially the holding company of Mercedes-Benz, and obviously we all know what Mercedes is, and we're going to be talking about their EV, about their autonomy, about an article that's talking about what level of autonomy they have, just basically about everything about Mercedes and why they might be a crazy stock to buy that's flying under the radar, their valuation, their PE, everything about the stock, we're going to do a full analysis. So, before we get into the video though, I would like to ask you if you could smash the like button. It's very much appreciate it. It helps push this video out to YouTube algorithm so more people get to see it. Also, go ahead and sub if you do enjoy this video and want to watch more content as I post three videos a day almost every single day. So, let's get right into the video. So, Daimler has about a hundred billion dollar market cap and it has about a six forward PE, which is insane. Let me put that into perspective. Tesla has about a like 500, 600 billion dollar market cap, and it has a 145 forward PE, which is basically, if you don't know what PE is, it's price to earnings. So it's like, let's say this company makes, let's say Tesla makes $1, people are willing to pay $145 worth for that $1 worth of earnings, as opposed to Daimler, people are willing to pay $6, well, it's a 6.5 forward PE. So that people are willing to pay $6.50 for a dollar worth of earnings. See that huge difference? So. Basically, Daimler owns several different um, car companies. They own Smart, which makes those you know those small little smart cars. Um, they own Mercedes Benz, and they own many other companies. I'm not going to go over every single company that they own right now, but the most important one, Mercedes Benz. And Mercedes Benz just announced they have level three autonomy. That's right, level three autonomy. Now there are some restrictions with this level three autonomy. Level this autonomy will only go only goes up to forty miles per hour, and it's more of like a daily routine thing. It's not tweaked out to the max like Tesla or anything. But I feel like this is a nice play to make as a bet of, of aside from Tesla. I have Tesla, I have Lucid, and I think that now Mercedes Benz might be a great idea. A car company with a level three autonomy with scalable things with. $50 billion in Q2 earnings as opposed to someone like Tesla with $12 billion in Q2 earnings. Big difference. It's like four times higher earnings than Tesla with a PE, like with a PE that's much lower than Tesla's, with a market cap that's smaller than Tesla's, with potential of growth higher than Tesla's, with more cars on the road than Tesla, with Mercedes being a longer term brand than Tesla. Like there's a lot of things that, that, that I'm seeing now that is like, wow, okay, there might be a lot of value in Daimler. And the reason I say Daimler is because of Mercedes-Benz, if you didn't get this from the beginning, but Daimler is the holding company of Mercedes-Benz. So Daimler is a stock that you buy. It's at about $100, somewhere around that, around that price for the stock right now. And I think it's a bargain. I think that now that I'm looking at all of my options and I'm really looking, diving into all the car companies and what they're doing, I think Daimler is definitely a solid option. And, and they're shifting 80, Mercedes-Benz is shifting 80% of their funds towards and, and allocating them towards EV, and they're planning on going 100% EV by the end of the decade. They have a level three autonomy. They have a lot of cars on the road. They're a big known brand, and their and the valuation is of a hundred billion dollars at a six forward PE, which is insane. So I'm definitely going to be buying the stock. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I definitely think that Daimler could push forward and they can do a lot of stuff in the future. I think, yes, they do have that, those restrictions of the 40 miles per hour on the, well, the cars driving autonomously. Isn't that good? But I think that it's just right now set up for a daily routine. Like, okay, you're going to work and works, let's say it works 15, 20 minutes away and it goes 40 miles per hour on like a normal road, gets you to work and just fine. And you get a, and it, in the article, I literally joked about paying, playing Tetris and sending messages on the screen while you're driving. And, um, well, the car drives itself, sorry. And I think that's incredible. The fact that there's a car company that's this far along, right alongside Tesla. I know Tesla's a bit further along than this because Tesla's been um, advocating autonomy and advocating EVs for a long time too. But now that, now I think Mercedes with this huge amount of money, with this huge um, amount of consumers that they have already in customer base, I think they're in a really good place. And I think that they're being overlooked 
overlooked. And I think that this is a huge mistake that people are making. So I think that they're going to make a big swift in. And I think they're going to make a big impact in the EV market. So I think that I'm going to add them to one of my EV holdings. Now I will have Tesla, Daimler, and Lucid Motors. So let me know what you think about this once again in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and smash the like button if you didn't already. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to watch more content about this. See you in the next one. This was Kev's Mindset.